Oh yeah, no hat today, boys and girls. This is filament extruder. I think this is number 11, but I could be wrong. I might have a big black bar in my face saying the right number, and I don't have my hat. Um, so what am I going to do today? Well, I currently have the correct plastic. Let me grab it so you can see what it looks like. It looks exactly how I would imagine it. This is how I would imagine it. Let's pull out some of this old stuff. And see the difference? This has multiple colors. I'm wondering if one of them is like a hardener or something. I'm not real sure. But this stuff looks real brittle, fragile. That's what the that's what the ABS I'm looking for should look like. See how it's glossy? It's got like a glass to it. I will um I will give you the information on this. I don't have it in front of me. I'll have to look up exactly what type this is because I do know what type it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the filament extruder and I'm going to see if we can pull this apart like I imagined it to come apart. And we're going to see what happens. Um, hopefully it just comes apart like I designed it. So let's get started. Time lapse time. Ah, all right, so it, it worked. The auger bit slid out the back as planned. Superb. It actually started pulling out. I probably could have pulled it out without taking this off. But check out what I got. There's so much thrust on this bearing back here that there are shavings. And that's literally just from this. You can see that washer's actually bowed out. So we'll take that apart and double check that we're doing all right. And... Uh, We'll see how we're doing in there. Actually, I'll pull it off right now. Let's see what we got. Check that out. That was flat. I need to I need to put a thicker washer on there. But this is an actual bearing piece. This is a the actual proper piece. And it don't look bad. I'll put that back on. The only thing it's doing is the back side of my bit looks good, but it's kind of wearing into that part. That's okay though, as long as it's centered, it doesn't really matter. But I'm thinking maybe it's getting off center. Because it's actually wearing a slight little groove here like it's forcing it in a particular direction but that's right that's not too bad one of those things that was a that was one of the pieces of this whole thing I wasn't for sure about then I did take it off and I'm letting it heat up where it sits and uh, then I'm going to I'm gonna let the tip heat up so I can pull the tip off and I'll pull the back out I could overheat it, but I don't want to. I don't want to. It'll come out. So yeah, we'll do some more time lapse taking this sucker apart. Oh my goodness. So here's what I got for you. Uh, it actually it is working. It worked pretty good. It, I guess it's plastic. It, it's just what it is. See my little pieces I got everywhere. This big slug came out nice. And uh, if I had to guess, I could push this back through there. Clean the walls off. I'm going to try that. Um, everything else came apart really good. The tip came really clean. The only, the only thing I got, you can see what I got in here. Let me look this way. It's a little bit on the side walls there, but it's because it's still hot. So I need it. I need to let it cool down. I need to let it cool down a little bit, and uh, it shouldn't stick to that. It came right off the stuff that was cold. So I might even try pushing that other piece down through that pipe. And uh, yeah. 
I think that's what I'm going to do. Push it one way and push it back. Should clean up most of that. Let's try it. Oh, well, um, this looks really good. Let me show you what I've got and show you what I'm going to do. It's pretty cold now. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. See what I got in there? Tiny little bit. Just a tiny little bit. So I think what I'm going to do in a little bit right there on the edge, you see a little tiny bit of pieces right there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some acetone and see if this plastic, it's ABS, it should dissolve in acetone. If it does, then I'm going to get me an acetone rag and I'm just going to wipe this out really good and that'll be the end of it. <laughs> this this whole thing came real clean. The tip, um, when I pulled the tip out, that just pulled right out of here. Where did that piece go? Here it is. That just pulled right out of there. It didn't even stick once it cooled. I mean, I could just pull that right on out of there. So, what I'm going to do then, is I'm going to get some acetone and see if we can clean this out. If we can, we're good. That's the only thing we got to clean. The auger bed, I could wipe it off, but it's got just minuscule... I don't know if the camera will focus. Come on, not down there. There we go. Minuscule. It bits on that edge. And um, that edge has that little rough rough cut on it. So it's kind of sticking in those grooves. I could get a wire wheel and brush it out. You can see back here where the plastic was powder. I mean, that you guys saw, I uh, showed you where it was. Basically, this much of the auger bit was not melted. It was just the tip. So that tells you that all this plastic goes in unmelted. That's pretty good. About that much of it. And there's about that much space in between the auger bit and the end. And then I had about this much I peeled off. Alright, I'll be back with some acetone. See if we can clean this out. Well, acetone doesn't dissolve the stuff, so that's a definitely well though wrong type of plastic. Um, so basically, I'm going to leave that tiny bit in there, and by the time I get stuff calibrated and checked and tested, this is just for testing, I think we'll be just fine. So I'm just going to leave it in there, and we'll reassemble this thing, and we'll let that little bit melt out. It's all the same temperature, so it should melt out, and if i got to get it a tiny bit hotter, so be it. This is definitely the wrong kind of plastic, though. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, let's put this thing back together. Oh yeah, I got the right plastic now. Let me show you why I say that. This is a bit small to show you, so let me get a more fatter, bigger piece. Alright, when you bend this stuff, you should see it turn white. That's, that's, that's what the other stuff does. This stuff's actually more durable, but that is the right type of plastic. That's closer to what I use, let's put it that way. Other, other manufacturers may actually use this exact stuff, but this is... This is the right stuff. Let's see, snaps. That's, that's what I want. So, for now, I got the air cooler, and I'm gonna let this get hot. I don't think it's hot enough. I'm gonna let all this get hot, and then we'll uh, we'll just pull a bunch through and see what we get out of it. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. That's all I got for ya. Well then. Uh, yes. This is the right plastic. This is actually better than the stuff I use right now. 
I almost can't break it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a uh, a little spooler jig, which I think will work temporarily. Just set it up and see if it's going to work. I'll probably end up attaching something onto the end of this shaft and letting it turn the spool with a slip on it. And uh, we'll go from there. I just wanted to get the right, see if I can get the right diameter. I don't know if anybody's seen this yet. I don't remember. But there's my uh, my speed controller. It's got three three selectors here, and then I can do my different uh, um, step modes by switching these. So pretty cool. That that gives me one range, two ranges, and three ranges. Then all the settings in between. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that little spooler that I got and hook it up really quickly. I think it's way too fast. It may not work, but yeah, might as well. Might as well give it a try. All right, boys and girls, this is my temporary solution just to even see if this is going to work. Now, this isn't my finished solution. But it's something I already had made up that I thought would work. This is some sort of a machinery piece of thingamabobber from some other piece of equipment that I took apart. And I kept it because it's a, it's a spooler. And it's an auto feed. It's a little too fast. I need to uh, put this on a very... It's a 110 volt AC motor inside there so I can't really slow it down. Unless I re-engineer the whole thing, and at that rate, I really just do something different. Yeah, that works pretty good, though. Now, it's going to all pile up in one spot, probably. Or it may, it may follow and come back, I don't know. It looks like it's following right now. But, uh, yeah. I happen to have all the things to make it fit on this shaft temporarily really rigged it up pretty good here but I'm gonna let it run right there like that this is at bare minimum and that's at uh, maximum I'm just gonna let it run like this and when we get done we're gonna run that through the printer and see if it prints well the other plastic didn't even give it watts it was done so yeah, pretty cool. It's alive! Yeah, I'll set the camera back over here where it had a better angle, I think. And I'm going to start cleaning. I'm out here to clean, not to play with this thing. But I can't help it. I got the right kind of plastic. What am I supposed to do? Ah, all right, peoples. You hear that squealing? That's that one of them balls in there is pushing out the side. See it? We just went by. Cause that washer's bent, and I put it on the other side. So I'm gonna take that back out and flip that washer around so them balls don't fall out of there. Ha! <laughs> Sounds terrible. But check it out. Look how much filament I made. And I'm gonna run this through my printer tonight yet. And look, the hopper, the hopper wasn't even full. And I only used about an inch and a half off that thing. And I can't imagine filling that whole tube up I got. That thing would run for days. I did play with the temperature because you can see the filament. It's turning back to its regular color here. But it kind of got dark in certain spots. It, got, it wasn't white anymore. Or I guess, well, it's not really white. It's almost like a pale. But it almost looked like it got burnt a couple spots. I don't know if that was my temperature 
or what? Oh, uh, all right. I'm going to. I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to set you down. So I'm going to cut this off. Now this stuff is, it's a bit small, almost all of it's been 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, look at that, I think it depends on which way I turn it. So my, my tolerance is still pretty far out, I mean like really far out, but the filament is not too big, it's, it's, it's either just right or too small. And actually, that might be a bad example. I may be, need to take something I didn't turn that off. I mean, let me take off a couple of loops. Ooh, like that right there is a real thin feeling. Oh, I got a little squirrely towards the end. I don't really know why. Take off about that much and we'll measure it. And that's, that definitely varies in size quite a bit. But I still got some things to do. I just want to see if I can print with it. 1.64, 1 1.5, 1 1.65, 1.55, 1.578. Wow. I know I can get the right diameter. 1 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.5, 1.5, 1.7, 1.4, 1.4, 1.48. 1.49, 1 1.36, 1 1.69, 1.54. So it's it's definitely nowhere nowhere at tolerance. But I want to go see if it's printable because that other plastic was not did not work right, and it did not melt in acetone. All right, so Russ's filament extruder. Um, Again, look at that stuff. This stuff is a totally different type of plastic. Um, yeah, so the, the overview again. That's what I currently have set up at the moment. And, um, yeah, for temporary testing, that works pretty well. The thing I'm probably going to try is actually put a bigger sprocket here so that I can make this run faster so that I can make this pull it out at the right diameter. Because right now, that is just not right. If I make that bigger, it's still pulling out too fast. And it's pushing out faster than I can pull, so it's getting all squirrely right in here. So, anyway. Um, it's probably a long video, but now you know. Again, an overview of the circuit. It's basically just a 555 timer, a couple different capacitors, with a switch. I'll pull the switch so you can see what I mean. So that's a different range. So the high speed here is almost the same as the next speed up. And then that speed there is the same as that speed there. So I got all the different types of speeds. And I can speed it up by flipping these. On. Anyway, you get the point. Okay, well that's it. Russ's filament extruder video 11, I believe. <sighs> Let me know what you think. Um, one quick observation: if you can make your filament extruder extrude 
horizontally and let the weight pull it down, you'd be much better off. I think that's the way to go. But I'm going to keep playing with this as it is, and I'm going to see if it works. So, yeah. Russ out. Peace and love, you guys. RWGResearch.com if you want to check out more of what I'm doing here. And uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Bye.